Global styling options empower you with the ability to use custom colors and schemes for your design, helping you brand your email campaigns easily. Here's an email to promote Andy's singing career as an example. Wait, Andy sings? Anyway, let's say we want to brand the colors in this email, or make the email full width, or add rounded corners to the header and footer of the design. This is what global styling options do. Click on the style icon, which looks like a paint bucket. To the right of each global section, there's a plus sign. Clicking on these opens up that section, allowing you to alter the colors and style to your liking. Let's do this. To change the email's background color, click on Background. Now pick a color you like, and you're good to go. You can also alter the email completely by experimenting with different color schemes. Note that if you switch to a different color scheme, you can still change the individual elements, such as the email's background color. When you change any section or block's color, notice that the Save Colors button appears at the bottom of the email. So if you create a color scheme and you want to keep it, you can now give this new scheme a name and save it for future use. You can access the color schemes you've saved by clicking on Saved, and previous color schemes will be there for you to use in the future. This is great for branding emails using specific color palettes. Another function of the global styling options is the email border. Here, you can decide to make the email full width or framed. When the email is framed, you can add rounded corners by moving the border radius slider. Here's another tip before we send the email. Notice that the social icons are round. This is easy to do too. Let's add a SoundCloud icon and style it by clicking on the social block. To the left, I will choose SoundCloud from the drop-down menu and click on the plus icon. As you can see, it's square. Now I will click on the icon in the email, I'll add the URL, and slide the border radius all the way to the right. Now it's round. And just to keep everything tidy, I will also click on Apply Radius to all buttons in the block. Now let's make the social icons bigger. And click on Save. That looks good, but I'm not clicking on that button again, thank you very much. 